Now you got to call on what you got faith in. Now, now some of us might have faith in our, our own strength. You know, I go to the gym every day. I, I work out. You know, I, I built my muscles, and so you don't make me afraid. I'll rely on my strength. But when somebody got a 357 Magnum <laughs> placed at your head, then all your work in the gym <laughs> might not help too much. <laughs> so when you face the gun, fear jumps up in your heart because you know that has the power to take your life. Well, do you surrender? Or do you challenge the thing that has made you afraid? Now, most of us, when we are tried by fear, we succumb. And no man can ever be what God intended him or her to be if you allow anything but God to make you afraid. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say it again. I want you to internalize this. Anytime we allow anything to make us afraid, and we refuse to challenge our fear of that thing, then we can never be that man or that woman that God intended us to be because fear will not allow you to be yourself. Now, if... God made man and woman in his own likeness. Then can you imagine God being afraid? I mean, just think about God for a minute. Ooh. There's a lion. Ooh. How could he be afraid of what he created? So if he is the creator and this is the creature, then he has natural mastery over it if he does not allow what he created to terrify him. This is no Frankenstein. That the thing created now can terrify its creator. There is nothing in creation that can make God afraid. Well, then if God is not afraid of anything that he created and you and I are in his image and in his likeness, will you tell me, please, how we can justify being afraid of anything in creation? Tell me, can you justify it? Now, now, now let's, let's talk about that for a minute, because it's easy to say no, sir, but let's, let's talk about it. Let's see if there's anything in creation we justify in being afraid of. Let's start with the biggest thing, the sun. Should we be afraid of it? Why? It was created to serve you. Moon, star. Everything that you see was created to serve man. If you're afraid of it, you can't master it. You don't even approach it with the thought of mastering the sun. Let's not even talk about mastering ants or bees or birds. But you were created to master everything in creation because everything in creation was created to be the servant of man. Well, if you become afraid, 
Fear restricts you from the study necessary to become a master. Well, there are things in life. I mean, if you were out in the field and a, and a bear jumped up, I mean, a bear will make you afraid, brother. You know, and there are other creatures that will make you afraid, too. But you know what? The creatures have a natural fear of you. Because they know something about you that you don't know about yourself. The creatures know that you have been given power over them. They're frightened of the human. But the human has no right to be frightened of the creature. I once was listening to a tape by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I was out in Arizona taking a month to fast and pray and discipline myself for a fight against cancer. And while I was out there, I was listening to a tape of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and he was saying that God did not make the original man, black man, to be afraid of anything in his creation. He only made you and me to fear him. And it is the fear of God and God alone that gives you mastery over the creation. But if you don't know God and won't trust God and have faith in God, then things that make you afraid will become your master. So after I heard that on the tape, it just so happened the next morning, every morning, I went for a morning walk. And I would walk from four miles every day to 11 and 12 miles sometime on the weekends. So this morning, I was out walking. I always had the brothers to, to walk a few paces behind me because that was my time of communicating with God and I felt I wanted to just be to myself. This morning I'm walking and a big bull is in the path. I ain't talking about a cow now. <laughs> and there is a difference. <laughs> and the bull is about where the exit sign is back there, and I'm walking. The bull see me, I see the bull. The bull stop, and I stop too. <laughs> and the bull put his head down and start moving his feet, you know. And I know what that means. <laughs> and you know what that means. And a little fear, you know, jumped up in me. Oh. <laughs> and I just remembered the words of Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I said, well, wait a minute. I ain't supposed to be afraid of this. I started walking. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I'm challenging my fear. I'm not saying you won't be made afraid, but you must not let things punk you. That's what I'm talking about. I couldn't turn around. I couldn't run backwards. I couldn't walk back because I had something in my head that my teacher had told me. So I talked to myself. You heard what he said. Brother, sometimes you got to talk to yourself. Now, sometimes you don't have time to talk to yourself. But I had at least 50 or 60 paces to think this thing out. And I started walking toward the bull, and the bull never moved. He put his head down again, and he started doing this, you know. And I kept right on walking. And when I got about 20 paces from the bull, 
fear jumped in him. And the bull ran off in the bush. I said, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> And what I'm suggesting to you is that the thing that has made you afraid, if you challenge your fear of that thing, you might find fear jumping into that thing because you were not created by God to be afraid of anything in creation but he himself. And he's not creation, he's creator. <laughs> 